All right, my friends, so now we know how to use functions, I need to introduce this idea of variable scope because it is really important and it probably can trip you up if you're not aware of it. So then, when we create variables, they can have a certain scope. It could be a global scope or it could be a local scope. So I want to talk about local variables with local scope first of all, then we'll move on to global scope variables, okay? So imagine we create this function called myfunc and inside we declare a variable and that's equal to 10 and then we echo that variable price. So if we call this, it's all going to work. Let's just try it out. I'm going to say myfunc like so and call it. So save that and refresh over here and we see 10. So that all works. Now this variable right here, when we create it inside a function like this, this has local scope. And by that, I mean we can use it only inside this function. If I try to echo the price outside the function, I'm not going to be able to because I don't have access to it. It's only available locally. It has local scope. I'm going to demo this, save it and refresh it. And we see down here an error, undefined variable price. So when we declare a variable inside a function, it has local scope and we can't use it outside the function, okay? So let me just now comment this stuff out right here and we'll go down to this second example, uncomment that. This is a different function, myfunc2. It takes in a parameter, a variable age, and then we echo that age out. Now, if I call this function, I need to pass in an age argument. So I'm gonna call it myfunc2 and I'm going to pass in 25 and save that. So this should work, right? If I refresh, we should see 25 over here. Cool. Now this again, even though we're passing it in from the outside here and assigning the variable there, this still has only local scope and we cannot access it again outside of the function. So I'll demo that and refresh and we still get an error. So remember this, when we create a variable inside a function or inside here then it has local scope and it can only be used locally inside that function i hope that makes sense okay so global variables now so first of all outside of a function i'm going to make this variable and i'm going to call it name and set it equal to mario okay so we have that variable now i'm going to create a function and i'm going to call this say hello and inside that function what i'm going to do is echo and hello and then we're going to use that name variable now we've declared this name variable outside of the function so do you think we can use it inside the function well let's save and find out i'm going to refresh over here and we don't see anything that's because we've not called the function so let's do that first of all say hello and then save and refresh and now we get an error Okay, undefined variable name. So it's saying that this is undefined and that's because it's looking for a local variable by default inside the function. So if we, for example, say, well, okay, name in here is equal to Sean, then this would work. It would say, hello, Sean, because it finds that local variable. Okay, now what I want to do is not use this value. I want to use this value. So what we do is place the keyword global in front of name to turn this into a global variable. And now we're going to access this variable, which is declared outside of the function. So we're using the global variable now, and now it should work. So if we save this and refresh, that works. And that's because we've declared that name when used inside this function here is going to be a global variable. It's going to be this thing up here. All right, cool. So now then, what if inside this function, I want to override this thing? What's going to happen? Well, let's have a look. If I say now name is equal to Yoshi, then run this function, then we see hello Yoshi. Now, what do you think's happened? Has this been overridden outside here as well, or just inside here locally? Well, let's echo out the name down here again. After the function's run, after we've changed it inside the function, Let's see if it also changes outside of the function up here. So save that and refresh and it does. So when we say that this is a global variable and we change it inside the function, it also changes the one outside of the function because we're now using this variable up here. 
So whenever we reference name now, it's using this variable up here, not a local one, and that's because of this statement. Okay then, so let me just comment this junk out for a minute. We don't need that, I'm gonna do one more example. So what I'm gonna do is come down here and make a new function, and this function is gonna be called say by, and it's gonna take in a name parameter. Okay, so inside, I'm gonna say echo, and then in a string, double quotes, by, and then the name, okay? Now then, unlike before, this is expecting a parameter. We didn't pass in a parameter here. So when we're using this, it's gonna look for this value. So what if I now say, okay, well, let's say by and pass in this value, okay? So this variable. So we're passing in that variable, Mario, into this thing over here. Then we're echoing that out. So we should see by Mario, shouldn't we? So if we save that and refresh, and we get an error, and that's because we've missed off the semicolon right here, okay? Never forget those. Save that, refresh, and we can see by Mario, okay? So that's worked. So we've passed this value in to the function, and this local variable now has been assigned the value of Mario. Then we're outputting that. But what if now we try to update the value of that name? What if we say name is now equal to Wario? Well, let's save that and see what happens. If we refresh, we see by Wario. But now, if we try to echo the name and save it, is this gonna be updated? Will this be now Wario because we've changed it in here? Well, let's give this a whirl. If we refresh, we see by Wario, then Mario. So the Mario right here where we echo the name, this has not been updated even though we update it right here. So what's going on? Well, remember when we use a parameter inside a function, that is a local variable. We talked about that at the top up here. So now we're passing in a value of Mario, but when it gets here, we're declaring this new local variable called name. And now this in here is a local variable, not referring to this global one, okay? So when we use the global keyword over here and declare name inside the function, then that is gonna use the global variable and we can override it globally here. But when we pass one in as an argument, take it as a parameter as a local variable and try to override it, it only overrides the name variable inside the function because this is now a local variable, not a global one, okay? So it doesn't update that. Now, if we want to pass this in, by reference and be able to update this thing, we can do that by adding an ampersand in front of this parameter. So that is now saying, okay, we'll pass this variable in, this here, by reference, okay? So it's gonna take in the name and it's gonna change it outside here. So it's similar to doing this. Now, if we change inside, it's gonna change it globally as well because we're passing in the variable by reference. That might be a little confusing and there's different ways to do this, but once you get your head around it and you've played with it a few times, it's not that difficult to understand. So if we save this now, we should see that by Wario, because we change it in here, and when we change it in here, because we're passing it by reference now, it's gonna update outside of the function as well, and this should be Wario too. So save that, refresh over here, and we see by Wario, Wario, okay? So that's just a little bit on variable scope. Again, it's not always gonna get this difficult. We're not gonna be using this much, but now hopefully you understand what this means if you ever see it in any PHP code or need to use it in the future.